Section 107 Fair Use allows us to talk about it, and that's what we are here to do. Please don't go out of your way to dislike anybody we talk about in these videos. They are for entertainment and reaction purposes only. They are my opinion and my opinion on. Don't blame Mr. Charlie. Mr. Charlie is just a man, and he's doing the best he can. My toe, in this instance, blame Wood. Now, honey, honey. Oh, Wood. Oh, Peach. Now, Peach is up there laying up under wood, and kids are in the bed bouncing around. She's laying there topless. She's got a towel on her head. She's singing. The baby knows she's on some BS, so the baby's slapping her and wood around. Ooh, phenomenal was up in there. Girl, shut up. You ain't full of it. Smack, smack, smackity smack, okay? But let's just talk about this for a second. The fact that you say you'd rather have a piece of man than no man at all just shows what you're thinking. Now, when Betty Wright wrote that song, I don't think she was saying, go on out here, get you a piece of man that don't got no job, don't got no dreams, don't got no goals. He going to cheat on you, beat on you, use you, abuse you, and throw you in the trash. Then he'll sit right next to you and smile and pretend to go along with all your storylines so that you can do it for content. I'm pretty sure that's not what Betty Wright meant. Betty Wright, when she wrote those songs back in the day, you know how men were. They was working construction. They would come home and they would bring the money home. They would buy food, but they like to be out with their friends and this and that. I mean, if you listen to the song, she pretty much says, you know, a man is going to be a man, all right? But not a man is going to be a boy. <laughs> Let's just... First off, that song ain't something I would even listen to because I don't want no piece of man. Let me just say that, number one. It's out of my genre, out of my generation, so I ain't going to listen to it for number two. But number three, what a low blow of self-esteem. Now, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to tell y'all because we all women, right? That it is people that we've been in relationships and we done had some BS. Now, can I get an amen in the background? Amen, Storm. Mm-hmm. Amen. But... At the end of the day, a man that continues to show you that he's going to be what he is and going to do what he do, and he's not going to work, he's not going to provide. I do not understand all this back to school shopping. Every video, Peach is like, well, do you like these shoes, Wood? No, nah, they cheap. Do you like these, Wood? Mm-mm, they ugly. And then Peach is saying, well, I'm trying to shop on a budget. But she got Wood in the background saying, no, nah, them too ugly, them too cheap. You know the old saying, right? When you ain't spending your money, it's easy to spend. That's what Wood is doing. He's sitting back there and he ain't got nothing but linen in his pockets. And he's trying to tell you what he think is cute, what he think uh, they need, what he thinks they'll like. But he ain't coming out of pocket to buy it. Now, ain't that about a shame? Oh, but I guess because you posted that he's out here tying up gorgeous shoes that makes him a better person like she's out here making these videos oh y'all say all my seven kids have the same faces because they got the same daddy girl let's say allegedly because nobody believes that honey not everybody got the same face boo boo and y'all know exactly without me being too messy exactly what i mean honey let's see the paternity test Ooh, oh no let's not go there okay but even though you have seven kids with this man what does that make him doesn't make him a man. Pete says as long as he's tying shoes, teaching ABCs and one, two, threes, that makes him a good man. And I don't think he can add one plus one, two plus two, oh, three plus three. But I guess he can tie shoes. So that makes him a good daddy. I would feel less than a person, less than a man, less than a woman, less than a parent. If I'm out school shopping and I don't have nothing to contribute, if all I can do is say, well, guess what? All I can do is get him up and play daddy daycare while you lay here on the Internet and make videos. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely not. And then he's got outside children and you paying child support for it. He's got other baby mamas coming out, people writing books. I mean, what in the crazy hell is all going on? Oh, I don't want that piece of a man. I'd have been done found me another piece by now. Oh, hell no. And don't get me wrong. I do believe that people can change. Let me just say that. I believe people can change and I believe that people can grow. In this instance, being peach and wood, we've seen that neither one of them have changed and neither one of them have grew. She's telling us that he stays up all night. But from the look of it, you staying up with him if y'all making videos all night singing in the bed. So maybe it's not just him. It's you too. Maybe y'all both have problems. Maybe y'all both have issues. 
issues. Maybe y'all both need help, but neither one of y'all will put y'all brains together and figure that out. That's what blows my mind. You won't do it for yourself. You won't do it for your children. You won't do it for anyone to get help and to have a better life. That's what truly, truly blows my mind about it all. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I know y'all been keeping up and I cannot wait to see what y'all got to say. Would y'all rather have this piece of man or when them went out and found you another piece? Girl, you better slice that stuff like bologna and see what's on sale. Ooh, 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 ooh. Y'all, I'm going to have to see y'all down in the comments below. Toodles.